Hello, we're going to talk about percents today. So let's think about what does a percent mean. So percent literally means, um, if we say percent, we're really saying per, per 100. So everything a percent is, it's over 100. So if I have 50 out of 100, I have 50%. I have that, so it's out of 100. All percents are out of 100. So 1% is 1 out of 100. So that's what percent means. Take a second now and add that into your math notebook. Percent per 100, out of 100. All right, let's move on now that you've added that to your math notebook. So let's talk about changing the following percentages to decimals. So here I have 65% or 65 over 100 or 0.65. That is also read as 65 hundredths, remember that. See that, 65 hundredths of 100? All right, let's try 150%. That's the grade Mr. Gable usually got on his papers. So that's 150 over 100 or 1.5. So that's 1 and 50 hundredths. Okay, uh, let's try the rest, pause this video and try the rest of these on your own. So do two, uh, excuse me, three, four, five, and six. All right, welcome back. You paused the video and you did those problems. Let's take a look at your answers for three, four, five, and six. There are your answers. Now, if you notice in all of these, what we really did was we just moved the decimal point uh, two places to the left. So 2%, as we had in number 3, becomes 0 0.02, or 2 one hundredths. 24% becomes 0.24, or 24 hundredths. 5% uh, becomes 0 0.05. Okay, and 6, which was 54.2%, becomes 0.542, okay, or 542 thousandths. All right, so that's how you change uh, percent to a decimal. So you're moving that decimal point two places to the left, which if you really think back to what we learned about fractions, 65 over 100, that means divide there on that fractional line. And we, when we divide by 100, we're moving that decimal point two places to the left. All right, so now let's talk about changing the following decimals to percentages. So here we have 78. This is done really easy. You can multiply it by 100, okay? And when we multiply it by 100, we divide it by 100, the decimal place move two places to the left. When we multiply by 100, we're moving it two places to the right. So change the following decimals to percentages. 0.78 or 78 hundreds becomes 78 percent. Okay, 1.15 or 1 and 15 hundreds becomes 115 percent, and 0 0.05 or or 0 0.05 hundreds becomes 5 percent. So there we moved that decimal point two places to the right, two places to the right, and then here again places to the right with number three. All right, try the rest on your own, pause this video, and I'll have some answers for you in just a second. All right, welcome back. So we're going to take a look at those answers. And here are the answers for three, four, five, and six. Hope you got all of those right. Um, so, so far we've looked at um, changing uh, percents to decimals, and we moved that decimal point two places to the left, and then we changed decimals to percents, and we moved the decimal point two places to the right. The other thing that we did is we added that percentage sign, okay, to make sure that people knew it was a percent. Now we're going to change percents, or excuse me, fractions to percents. So here I've got a bunch of fractions. So one half, if you remember, means one divided by two, that's 0.5. Or, think of that, 0.5 is 50%, okay? Half of a dollar is 50% of a dollar, okay? 
um, which is also 50 cents. Here we have 4 fifths, which means 4 divided by 5, which is 0.8. That's now multiply that by 100, that's 80%. 80%. So go ahead and try um, 3 through 10 on your own. Uh, you'll want to pause this video and then I'll have some answers for you. All right, welcome back. So let's take a look at those answers for 3 through 10, changing fractions to percentages. So there we have the percentages. Okay, and you can go ahead and pause this video and check your work. All right, the next thing we want to do is we want to really talk about changing uh, percents into fractions. Okay, so 20%, remember every percentage is, is per 100. So that really literally means 20 over 100. So if we reduce that, we reduce that down to one fifth, or you can drop a zero, two tenths, and then that's to one fifth. Now you could change one fifth to a decimal, which would be 0.2. So if you think about that, look what we did up here. In that 20%, we moved that decimal point two places to the left then to change it to a percent. All right. So try uh, two through six on your own, and I'll have some answers for you when you come back in a few seconds. All right, here are the answers for all six of those problems. The first one, of course, we did together, and the rest of those, okay. Let's take a look at five and six. So five and six are both greater than 100%. So that, that's 4 over 100, 400 over 100, or 110 over 100. So that's why we get 1 and 1 tenth, and we get just 4 here. Okay, 100 divides into 400 four times. All right, so there's converting fractions, uh, or excuse me, percentages into fractions. All right, moving on. We're, we're going very fast here. Please remember you can always go back and watch any of these sections again. So the next thing I want you to do is this document right here that you see right here. Uh, find the missing numbers, this right here. That is in Schoology. And what I want you to do is I want you to go ahead and, and fill this out. Okay, and you can go into Schoology and drop that PDF into Notability and then go ahead and write right on it and fill out these blanks. Okay, so wherever we have a blank, fill those out. Uh, that is one of your homework pieces and we'll go over those answers tomorrow. Uh, your other homework piece is um, to do a few problems, but I've got one more thing to teach you here. So find a percent of a number, okay? And this is one of probably the most common things you'll use with finding a percent. So here we really need to find 45% of 90. Now, you might be thinking, well, wait a minute, we've heard that language before. What does of mean? So step one is let's change that percentage to a decimal. So 45% to a decimal is 0.45. That's 45 over 100 or 0.45, okay? Now, multiply 0.45 times 900. That's right. That's where you heard of before. 45% of 900. Of means to multiply. All right, so 0.45 times uh, 900 is equal to 405. Okay, so 45% of 900 is 405, which makes sense because 50% of 900 would be 450. And 45% is close to that 50, so it's 405, all right? Now, the other thing that, you, that you'll that you be faced with often when you're finding percents is a sales tax. Uh, again, they tell you what to pay at the register, but if you ever wanted to figure it out, our sales tax is close to 6%. It's a little more than that. Uh, what is the sales tax on $85? An $85 item with a state tax of 6%. So we would need to find 6% of $85 and then add those two values together. 
I'll show you a shortcut how to do that uh, tomorrow when I'm back. All right. So again, step one, go ahead and change that percentage to a decimal point six or zero six. Multiply that times 85, and that gives you $5.10. And then if you add that to uh, the $85, that would be uh, $90.10. So that's what you'd actually end up paying. So the item that actually starts off as $85 with a 6% sales tax, that becomes $90.10 that you actually are paying. All right, the third thing that you can do is, here's another example, okay? Uh, ben has a savings account uh, in a bank and that pays 3% interest. Now that's very high, okay? 3% interest is very high for today's standard of interest-bearing accounts. Uh, if Ben leaves his $68 in account for a year, how much interest will he earn? So he'll earn 3% on that money the whole year. So again, to figure that out, we have to change 3% to a decimal. So we move that decimal point two places to the left, 0.03, three hundredths. Three hundredths times 68 gives me $2.04. So Ben just leaving his money in the bank, that gives him that $2.04. And he can add that to his $68. Not quite rich, Ben, but he's, he's doing better than he was he'll have $70.04. All right, so those are a couple things to do. All right, a couple things to know. And you can re-watch that section, remember, if you want to look at that again. So uh, now do percents to, uh, percents to fractions. That's that PDF that we looked at just a second ago. And percent beginning. Uh, these are in Schoology. Uh, I wish you good luck on these. Work hard do your best work, and we'll go over answers tomorrow in class for those two worksheets. And then also you have an IXL assignment. Uh, so and you can check that out on the Schoology calendar as well. All right, I look forward to seeing you guys again tomorrow after you've done these things. Take your time, work hard. Bye now.